Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Canadian Young Physicist Tournament's channel. This time, we're taking a look at IYPT 2020 problem number six, Saxon Bowl. If you didn't know already, this is part of our series of demonstration videos. We're also offering our crowdsource reference kit linked below. We are currently running into some technical challenges with the website. It is still online, but we will not be able to update it frequently until the issue is resolved. Let's take a look at the problem statement. The problem tells us that a bowl with a hole in its base will sink when placed in water. The Saxons use this device for timing purposes. The problem wants us to investigate the parameters that determine the time of sinking. The experimental setup is seemingly simple, but I want to point out a few subtle details that are not very well documented. To do this experiment, we will need the following material. I got some plastic bowl, some drill bits of different diameters, a weighing scale, some modeling clay, and a full bathtub of water. The first step is to drill some holes on the bottom of the bowl. Plastic is relatively easy to drill. You can use a wood drill bit to get a clean cut. I used a knife to remove the burrs like so. We can fill up our bathtub and place our bowl on the water surface. But as you can see, the bowl will stay afloat even with a hole drilled on its bottom. The first of the subtle points that I want to address is that the average density of the bowl has to be greater than that of the water. This might seem trivial at a first glance, but there can be some nuances that you might not have realized. Obviously, if the average density of the bowl is lower than that of water, the bowl will never fully sink. After some time, it will just half float in the water. However, if you're not careful with the shape and mass distribution of the bowl, it will likely become unstable. The relative position of the center of mass of the bowl and the center of buoyancy, which is the center of mass of the displaced water, can make the bowl stable or unstable. In some cases, the bowl could tip over so easily that any small waves on the surface will knock it over. Obviously, this will change the dynamics of the system in a very non-trivial way. In order to simplify the situation, I decided to add a torus shape or donut-shaped piece of clay under the bowl. In this configuration, the buoyant force always provides a restoring torque, so the bowl will not tip over. I added clay in 10 gram intervals until the bowl could sink on its own. I realized that sometimes the bowl will only sink when I give it a small initial push downwards. This push must be sufficiently strong to allow the water to begin rushing into the bowl. For me, the critical clay mass is about 60 grams. This leads to the second subtle point, surface tension. Surface tension is important in determining the sinking condition. Not every sufficiently heavy bowl will be able to begin sinking when it is gently placed on the water surface. It is very possible that a bowl can just float on the surface even though it has a hole. The hydrostatic pressure of the water at the depth of the hole might not be enough to overcome the Laplace pressure provided by the surface tension. This effect is especially significant when the hole is small. The final subtle point is regarding the two extreme situations. By thinking about the extreme cases, we can set some boundaries for our theory. For a small hole, we can treat the whole system as quasi-static. At every instant, since the sinking velocity and acceleration is small, our standard buoyancy theory of Archimedes' principle can still apply. There is a negligible amount of mass change during a short amount of time. This then becomes very similar to IYPT 2018 problem number 9, Candle in Water. For a large hole, maybe the entire bottom of the bowl is removed. The theory approaches that of an object falling in resistive medium. Whatever your theory is, as the limit of the hole diameter approaches these two extremes, the prediction should be identical to that of these two conditions. That is everything that I can think of right now. 
If you disagree with anything that I said, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll leave you with some more footages of the Saxon bowl sinking, and hopefully you can spot something that I have missed. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.